Hello, Tim from Priority Thinking here. Just a quick video on uh, WordPress and how to use URL variables in order to pass information between your pages. So one way we use this is on our contact page. We have a list of items that the user can select um, that they're interested in. So there's a few of them there. And what we do is on each of our pages, um, so for example, leadership assessments, we have this button ready to get started, and when we click it, it brings us to the contact page, and it pre-selects leadership assessments in that list box. So there's plenty of uses for this to make your website more dynamic, um, not just selecting things in list boxes, obviously, but anything you can think of with JavaScript. Um, so we have another form that we want to um, implement this same feature on. So the form is called information request. And it's just a slightly different form, uh, but it's got a ton of options in it that correspond uh, with our programs that we offer. So there's 14 of them, I think, in there. Um, so on each of our 14 program page pages, we want to have a button where they can click on it and it will direct them to this page and we'll select the item um, in that list box. So let's get into the WordPress backend. So we are using um, Avada version 5.8 and WordPress version 5.1.1 and Avada is great because it comes with uh, Fusion Builder and that's what, this is what it looks like and we can add an element and a code block uh, that makes this um, this feature very easy to implement. So in the uh, interest of time, I'm just going to copy over the working one from our contact page into this page. And this does this text editor does have some funky coloring. Uh, so let's uh, go over the uh, JavaScript here in Notepad++. So obviously we need to initiate or instantiate a new script block uh, so that this knows it's a, a JavaScript coming. And the critical items are this top, these top two uncommented lines. So window.location.search.substring is what's going to isolate the uh, URL variables. And then the query.split on the ampersand character is going to create a nice list of each of the variables. So as we can see in this URL, there are two variables and um, they are there's a uh, question mark to let the um, to let the path know that there's some URL variables coming after it, and we're going to split on the ampersand so that we've got two URL variables that are separated by an equal sign. And what we're going to do is we're going to loop over that list of parameters, and then we're going to split them into their two halves on the equal sign. So the param uh, and index zero will be uh, the title of the parameter and we can name this one whatever we want so in this in our example it's going to be a program uh, the information about a program that we're passing so we're going to just name our param program and then we're going to need to get the element ID of the list box so we know which uh, list box or select box select list to change uh, so the easiest way to do that is to just open up our inspector here and then hover over the select list that we want and we can see that the ID is input underscore seven underscore five so let's drop that in here underscore five and then so long as the element exists so some contact forms when the page posts back when they submit there might be a success message or something like that and in that event, we don't want the JavaScript to error out. So uh, we'll just say when that uh, element exists, then we're going to loop through all of the options of that select list. And we are going to select the one that matches uh, whatever we put on the other side of our program param. And another key thing to note is that in the event that our parameter has a space or a special character, that's going to be encoded automatically by our browser when we click that button. And what we need to do is decode it so that we are um, 
comparing two like text strings. So decode URI component is a nice JavaScript function that we can just easily use to take the param with index one, that's the right half of our parameter, and decode all of the uh, those percent uh, 20 is the common one for spaces, get those all out of there. So uh, before I forget, let me take this, uh, drop this into this code block and save it and update the page. And we'll just make sure this goes and updates. So it'll take a moment and then we can see if it works. All right, page updated. So let's go back over here and I've already set up one button to um, to do what we want it to do, and that's in the accountability program. So let's click on this, and actually let's do a hard reload, just to clear the browser cache, just to make sure we are in development mode um, for our CDN, so we should be okay on that front. And let's click this and see what happens. Okay, so it didn't select what we needed it to select, so let's see in here. We're getting an error from our CAPTCHA, but I don't think that's much of a problem. Um, so what I'm going to do is just close out of this and refresh our WordPress cache. Clear the cache there. Purge OP cache for good measure. Uh, let's open a new incognito window and go back to PriorityThinking.com. and programs accountability and hopefully it works there we go so the accountability item is locked in in that select list um, so let's set another one up for good measure. Um, I've got the Finding the Ethical Edge program up here. And if we scroll down, the contact button is pointing to the Contact Us page, the, the old one. So let's update that to Information uh, Request and a question mark for the uh, yeah, URL parameters. Then we're, we called it program equals. And then we'll need to make sure this matches exactly what's in the select list. So finding the ethical edge, there's no characters, anything, just spaces. And uh, lowercase the. So I'm actually not sure if lowercase um, or if the case matters with URL variables. That would be something interesting to test. But I am going to add, just add the. Um, the encoding in here manually, so finding the um, ethical edge. Okay, we'll save that, update the page. We may have to go back and uh, clear the cache and everything, but we'll try it as is. We'll open this in Inspector so we can do a hard reload. Let's just wait for this to update. Okay. Whoops. Then we'll do a hard reload um, on this page. Actually, we need to do it on programs. Finding the ethical edge. Do a hard reload here to make sure that this yep, is pointing to the new information request page. And hopefully, there we go, finding the ethical edge is locked in, and well, not locked in, but it's pre-selected in the select list. Um, so I'm sure there's plenty of other fun things you can do with these URL variables and a little bit of JavaScript to make your website a bit more dynamic and helpful for your users. So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.